Welcome back to Sapir Sunrise. Now joining me is Kent Smith with Santa Rosa Ranch. Kent, I want to thank you for being on this morning. We've got a lot to talk about this morning. First, let's talk about the Santa Rosa program and the operation. You guys got an impressive program and operation. You get a lot of international groups that come, but you've made changes over the years to fit you know, the times that are changing. But tell us a little bit about your guys' operation and what you have to offer. Well, thank you, Kirby. It's certainly an honor for me to be here representing Santa Rosa Ranch, Gerald and Kelly Sullivan, and all the guys and back at the ranch. And uh, yes, we have done a lot of things. Uh, a little bit different to uh, kind of compete in the market and uh, one is uh, just here a few weeks ago we were notified by the international brangus breeders we're now the largest uh, purebred uh, seed stock producer of brangus and ultra black so uh, one of our goals is uh, is to actually replace all of our commercial females with registered females I mean we'll still market a lot of those progeny of those cattle uh, commercially and through superior but uh, we feel like it, we can uh, just kind of track our genetics a little bit better in doing that. So it's kind of been a slow process. We're still probably a couple of years out from being 100% uh, registered. But there again, we will still be marketing cattle uh, on the commercial market. What changes have you made over the years in your genetics to kind of not only fit your operations need or fit the times or fit your customers' needs? Well, one of the things we probably do since we do run a lot of cattle is we probably going to a little bit more moderate frame, easy fleshing type of cattle because, uh, you know, really what costs us money is what it takes to maintain a cow every day for 365 days for the next eight or ten years. So just cattle, it's a little easy, more fleshing, uh, fleshing ability to them that go out and make our customers money. You know, technology plays an important role, and I know Kelly and I talk about this a lot, Kelly Sullivan, and she's come here to Superior, but we see her all across the country, even internationally, talking to people just about the advancements you guys have made, what technology has played, and just kind of what it means to talk to different producers across the country and seeing what fits your operation as well as others. How do you feel technology has played an important role in the operation? Well, you know, we do a lot uh, as far as, uh, you know, AI, ET, scan, and, you know, and I guess one of the biggest uh, assets for us is Kelly, that she, she does get out and travel. She meets people really well. They really like her, and, you know, and that's what our whole program is about is just integrity and, and just working like people with Superior that, that we enjoy working with, and we hope that our customers can relate that when they come visit us and buy cattle from us. Well, speaking of working with Superior, I know our last auction that we had on the 30th, you had six loads on, and now you have one load on today. Tell us a little bit about these kind of cattle. Yeah, these are going to be some steers, probably weighing about 570, I think, as we got them down. And uh, we had two loads on, but uh, split load, but we sold some heifers. <laughs> Nothing against Superior, but we sold some heifers, private treaty, so we had to scratch that. But this is going to be a good set of steers. It's ready to go and really will gain well, and I think it's going to do a good job uh, for the customer that buys them. Well, I know Superior really appreciates the relationship they've built over the years with you guys, and I know the customers appreciate the cattle they've received from you guys. So thank you for being on this morning. I really appreciate it. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank right, bye -bye. you. When we come back, another special guest. Don't go anywhere.